So last year I decided the time had come to replace my old tent. It was a single pole blade sort of configuration and what I was looking for was just something that was a bit more robust and a bit more simple, particularly in the setup and the takedown. I had a look around at everything on the market and in the end I decided that the, uh, the tent for me was the Wilderness Equipment Tektite 1. It's a single skin hybrid tent and the um, simplicity of it really appealed. So let's take a look at how it's been. Okay, so first up the weight. The tent tips the scales at 1.64 kg. Uh, that's packed up in the original bag. Not the lightest tent out there, but uh, certainly a pretty good weight considering how robust the construction of the tent is and how strong it's been over the last year or so. Lengthwise, it's about 48 centimetres packed up in its roll. It's not going to get much shorter than that due to the, uh, the, the pole running down the centre. Um, but it only overhangs my rack a little bit and it's certainly uh, just short enough to fit in an Ortley rack top bag. Okay, upon unrolling the tent, the first thing uh, that I noticed was just the high quality of all the fittings. Excellent pegs, lightweight eastern pole, adjustable everything, uh, good strong floor. It became apparent that the high price of the tent is fairly justified given the uh, excellent quality of the componentry. Setting up the tent's really fast, which is important to me. Basically, you just peg down one end, uh, run the pole through the middle and peg down the other end. Basically you can go from arriving at a campsite and getting the tent out to having a tent up that you can throw your gear in if it's raining in the space of around about 30 seconds or so. Once the tent itself is up you adjust everything with the guy lines which come with line locks uh, and within the space of a couple of minutes you've got yourself a bomb proof tent that's ready to go. Okay the big point of difference with the Tektite is that it is a single skin tent. Oh well, it's a single skin hybrid really there's uh, a little difference inside that we'll that we'll get to but what that means is that the thing is instant very fast to go up and down uh, and within it there's a lot of room it's very spacious because the the sides of the tent go right out to where the fly is you're not restricted by a mesh inner the trade-off I suppose with the single skin is the interior is very spartan there's no loops to hang any lights on there's no pockets to put anything on the side and what you're basically sitting is a suspended floor that sits within the fly that's joined to the fly by mesh it creates a situation where it's really really well ventilated and you can control that ventilation by just adjusting the height of the, where the fly sits in relation to the ground either by hammering the pegs in a bit further or adjusting the pole tensioner. Condensation was always going to be a big issue and I was concerned about that with this tent being a single skin. Um, turns out I had very little to worry about. With the ventilation coming in around the floor, the suspended floor, um, you get a good flow of air through and good circulation of air which is assisted by the two eyelid vents at the top of the tent which keep things moving along. To deal with the condensation there's a bit of a false ceiling just running over the middle of the tent where the uh, where the people lie, lie down. Um, the idea of that is it catches any drips which runs down to the head or the foot of the tent and goes out through the mesh. However, to be honest, I've never seen a drip of water running down it. Um, but it must work because I've never had a drip of water in my face either while I've been lying in this tent. Performance wise this tent's been very very good for me. In the wind it's very very strong, very very stable. I've never had any rain come into it or blow up underneath it. I've had it in very hot days, very cold nights uh, and it's always been very easy to manage the climate within the tent. Packing down tents is always a pet hate of mine. Um, when I get up in the morning I just normally want to get going and that's where the Tektite has been very very good. Inside the interior is big enough to easily sleep me and all my panniers and all my helmets and all my shoes and everything else. And there's enough sort of sitting up space and arm waving room in there that I can get my holes set up, packed up, all my mats rolled up, all my bags rolled up and packed away in the tent before I need to get out. Once it's time to pack the tent up, I normally give the interior just a real quick wipe down, just to mop up any condensation, drop the pegs, rip the pole out and roll it up and I'm gone. The whole pack up process is made a little bit easier by the fact that uh, the people at Wilderness Equipment provided an open top bag so it's just a matter of doing a loose roll. It doesn't need to be atomically tight like it's with an industrial press or anything. Loose roll and fire it straight in the bag and you're gone, you're out of there. Uh, it's a really well thought out tent in that regard with a lot of cool features that make getting it up and packing it away really, really straightforward. So it's been nearly a year with my Tektite 1 now. Uh, do I love it? Absolutely. Would I buy another one? Definitely. Would I recommend it to others? I absolutely would. It's a tough, simple, reliable, robust little tent with a lot of really high-end features that more than justify the cost of the tent in my opinion. So there you have it guys, Tektite 1 gets my full recommend. Enjoy.